Why does it feel like builds slow down at the end? Hey, I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand. In this video, I'm gonna talk about finishing a two lot subdivision in Wainui. I'll discuss why it seems like building progress slows down towards the end of a project, and I'll touch on the many moving parts involved with finishing. Stick around to the end of the video for my tips to keep the process moving. Before we even start building on site, we spend months at planning, sometimes up to a year or more, getting resource consent, building consent, engineering, working out how all the subdivision drains are gonna work, and nothing's changing on site. Often people aren't even aware that a project's gonna happen. Then, all of a sudden, we clear the site, we put a slab down. For a builder, this is when the project starts in their eyes. And from frames up right through to cladding on the wall, it is very carpentry heavy. They are there all day, every day. And from the outside looking in, it looks like we are steaming ahead and we're gonna be finished in next to no time. If you're loving these videos, go ahead, click subscribe, keep watching. There's lots of visual progress. Then we paint the outside of the house and we drop the scaffold and we start doing all the work inside. The thing with working inside is you have to do one thing after the other. We can't insulate the walls until the plumber and the electrician have put their wires in. Then we put the insulation in, then we put the jib on the walls. Then the plasterer comes in, then the builder comes back and does his job, then the painter comes in. Now all of those people can't do their job without the other person before them doing their job and generally they don't want people in their way. The painter doesn't want the builder making lots of dust, getting it stuck in the paint. So the painter wants six to 10 days of uninterrupted time to do a mint job on the inside of the house. This means we go from heaps of visual progress to one thing at a time happening on site. It doesn't mean the project's not moving forward. We are working towards that end goal. And that's the stage where these Wainui houses are right now. The front house has got a kitchen in, flooring down, it's hooked up to the grid, and inside we're about to do our final clean. The outside, we're working out where the concrete and fencing and lawn are gonna go to do the final push on landscaping, and then we're applying for code of compliance. On the back house, we've got the jib plastered and the architraves are on the wall, and we're now getting ready for paint. As soon as the house is painted, we'll do a kitchen install, we'll then do flooring, and we'll do a final fit off with the plumber and the sparky. Then that house will get hooked up to the grid, That'll get cleaned. There's a little bit more landscaping being that it's a sloping site. It'll get code of compliance and then we can hand it over to our happy owners. Now that I've built over 60 homes, I've learned a bit about keeping a project moving and how to finish strong. You need to be good at keeping everyone informed along the way especially in the second half of the project where every subcontractor's job relies on someone doing something before them. When I'm locking in subbies, I always leave some wiggle room for things to go wrong on site. If you stack everything so tight, you put yourself and your workers under pressure and that doesn't lead to a fun environment. The other thing we've learned is that there's a number of decisions that need to be made early. You need to know what you're doing before your subbies come to do it. And this is true inside just as much as outside. For example, putting paint on the walls. The day the painter turns up is not the day to make your color decisions. We like all of our clients to have all the internal decisions locked in before the house is closed in. The other thing I've learned is being flexible. If we're flexible and our subbies are flexible, we can make it work, we can all work together, we can get the job across the line. I've done this a number of times and the juggle at the end can be stressful, but getting to the end and completing a project, handing it over to happy owners is so rewarding.